put them together. Welcome, I'm Steve Hay and welcome to the wonderful world of woodworking with Carpetec. Today we're going to be covering veneering. Let's glue some of these together. I'll do one with high glue and I'll do one with PVA. So get, make sure you got both sides up so there's pencil mark on the bottom there. There's no pencil mark there, because I didn't do it, but I should have. Okay, I know that's the downside. So I'll put these together, and I'm going to use ordinary sticky tape. I might, again, I have preferences. My preferred one is 18mm Seller Tape brand. I don't know why, but it, it seems to work pretty well. You don't want one that the gum's going to come off on and you don't want one that the gum's not strong enough to, to hold it. So I've put sellotape half on, half off and then I move it up to the timber I'm going to glue to and move it so it's touching and then I actually sort of stretch the sellotape over to it. If you go, if you put this one over there a little bit and as you push you'll feel it click as it flattens out. There you go, <clears throat> and that's what we've got, and we'll see, we'll see. I don't want any light coming through, so there's no crack in there, so it's a nice tight seal. Then what I do, there's several ways you can do this, I'll do this one with um, as I said, tight bond original. So I've folded this in half like that. And then I'm just going to run this down there. And what I'm actually doing there is double gluing at the same time. Okay, so you can see I missed a little bit there. That's okay, because I'll just bring that up and then rub my finger down there like that. Open it up, fold it down. Here we put a plane on it. There you go, that'll, that'll hold it flat for a while. And next one. All right. Again, we'll start from this end this time. Push it up, push it down. Yeah, the, the thing I like about sticky tape too is you can actually see, whereas if it's masking tape, I can't really tell. Paper tape's about the same. All right, now there's two ways you can glue this one. We'll see, here we go. Okay, so there's a paintbrush full of glue. So I can hold the paintbrush and I just run that bit of timber up there. The other thing you can do is you can put a great big daub of glue on a piece of paper like that and then just run the join through the paint. We open that up, 
flatten it down, we'll put it with that one. Put that on there. Put that on there to hold it flat. Just, we'll just have a look. Oh, see if these ones are dried yet. Okay, they're glued together now for you. No, not quite glued. That's that's a high glue one. Let's have a look at the one we did with tight bonds. Okay, that's the one I glued with tight bond original. And as you can see, it's glued. It's not gonna fall apart. The high glue one is still got a little bit to go. But then we could glue that and you can get nice stripes effects. And what we'll do at a later video, if I'm asked, um, I'll show you how to get geometric patterns, such as those diamonds there, or squares for a chessboard. We, we're actually going to do a chessboard later on. So I will share that with you as well. Mm -hmm.